Howdy cowdies, aloha, how's it going? Oh yeah, welcome to another little weekly walk about the collector. We've got all sorts of cool stuff to sell this week. We've been busy flat knacker, apart from Mark, he's been slacking off. But these things happen. Yeah, <laughs> this is a cool little sterling silver hallmark little sort of coach there. Lovely old book over the back with all engraved portraits, including Captain Cook and stuff. It's about 1820. Some really nice little tin types. All little uh, photographic little portraits on tin called tin types. And they've got lovely little mounts and surrounds. Pretty cool little um, Thomas Sabo sterling silver pendant there. A little sort of space nurse angel thing, which is really cool. So there's a lovely little ring there on the ring stand. Amethyst with some diamonds around it. Pretty cool little bit of fluorite glass there. Looks like it's blue at the moment under this light, but when you take it out under normal light, it's purple. Nice fob watch. Pretty cool little paper clip. Little gold and silver brooches. There's a great, great lot of old sort of Australian and a couple of other 1970s um, album release stickers. They haven't been stuck. Uh, Peter Allen in there, and uh, Richard Clapton and Split Ends and who's that old 55 on top there. It's a good little lot that is. Some cool stuff in there. So World War One badges, nice little butterfly wing ashtray, some medals, a little Lesney models of SDU in the bag, some nice brooches and sort of clips and buckles and things. And they're pretty cool, little Loch Ness monster there, and a little glass hermit crab, which has been made and then put inside a real shelf. He's cool. All right, now we've got some cool little bits of furniture. I like this little sort of double-sided book stand. Really quite nice, little two shelves in one side, two shelves in the other. Nice with little barley twist legs and the stretcher base. He's a little ripper. I really like this as well, an old Victorian wash basin. Sort of corner one there with a sort of shell tap. It's got the old RD numbers there and the little leaf sort of soap trays. Pretty cool bit. A little industrial sort of... I think it's a desk return, actually. I think it's another sort of little bit to go on the end of a desk or something like that. They've got some cool clothes this week. None of the lot of sort of gents check print stuff and some cool Hawaiian sort of shirts. It's a lovely vintage gents jacket there with a sort of um, button up all underneath the collar. It's got a lovely old label at the top, about 1930 or something. Bit of a military look to it. Ladies dresses and some furs and Santa. Some 1970s Australian Air Force stuff, little flight vest and a jacket as well. Pretty cool little lumber jacket there. Heaps of gents vests and some more sort of ladies clothing as well. A little box of bits and bobs, box of records, some cool toys and DVDs in there, more records, good old drummer, Duracell drumming bunnies, pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so we've got big mix, a lot of stuff here on the table, all sorts of gear in amongst it. We've got heaps of nice paintings this week, actually. This is kind of cute little thing here, a bit naive, 1893. We've called it the Miniature Boating Party. <laughs> really like how out of perspective. That little boat is there with the people in it. But very cool, like it. It's a nice big thing as well, big river scene, but it's got a beautiful frame around it. Nice little sort of cocktail cabinet there. Another nice oil painting up on the wall of the coastal scene. Lovely old crates. This is a nice old crate, white rose oil crate. It's got some other light globes and stuff like that in the boxes. What else have we got? Some nice sort of retro and other light shades there. Pretty cool, a lot of retro gear here with the mirrors and the chair. Old baby's bassinet, nice little fountain, boxes of wheels, magazines and stuff, nice big lot of toys, we've got heaps of toys in the auction this week, all these box Star Wars ones, all sorts of gear sort of floating around the back as well, there's a nice a little outdoor benches that have been painted up, a couple of nice little unsigned Australian school oil paintings there, there's a little sort of funny little house here with a little bell tower in it. And kind of like this little lake scene with a little campfire. It's a bit unusual. They're both unsigned, but they're nicely painted. Like the little record stands, cute. Little kitchen stool with the thin metal tubular frames, nice. Little repro cartel unit there. And they're nice, the outdoor, the little white outdoor chairs there, made quite recently at IKEA, but they've got all the designer details in the back. Cool little lot. What else have we got? Here we go, heaps more Star Wars diecasts in their little sort of Perspex displays. A gold uh, midwinter dinner coffee set there. I think it's midwinter. It might be Westminster. More gold kitsch stuff over the back. All these World War II aeroplanes there. All in their little packets and boxes. 
It's a cool little lot of mixed items. I like the little cubist Japanese pussycat sort of vase there. Nice bit of Rosler German porcelain over the back. Bit of damage on both of them, which is a shame, but they're nice things. Some good books and stuff this week. More all aeroplanes. They're all jets. It's a pretty cool little lot. Fix your Ford booklet and the little Ford repair kit tin as well. Some more cool books. A nice little naive painting there of a tall ship. Cool little group. Oh, this is the reproduction. J.H. Lynch print. And they're now starting to reproduce these, which is kind of scary. These are nice couple of framed Varga girls out of old Playboy magazines. Oh, what else have we got? Numbers and things and Australian pottery and some more die casts and model kits. Nice little lot of copper, sort of kitchen alia there, some big pans and some nice little measures. Cool little typewriter. And like this little hanging Victorian planter, little ripper. It's a bit about Victorian planters. Look at these two, these are crackers. Big three-tier wire one there, and the big white painted three-tier wire one's a ripper as well. Both out of a lovely garden in Turak. And he's nice as well, a little sort of concrete cherub garden statue with a plinth as well for him. Some nice chairs, lovely big sort of table. It's a really nice hue and pine veneered picture frame there, about 1880. The electric E-Cat scooter. Look at it. Been zooming around on it all week. We've got some nice paintings this week, guys. This is nice. Who's this? I think it's uh, Douglas Pinder. Of Dartmoor, big British school watercolour, beautiful thing with a couple of little sheep bolting along. And this is nice. Uh, I think it's, who is it? Someone Goldfinch. And they're a Sydney painter. This is a nice example of their work as well. Nice thing. Quite a modern piece here, a little sort of beach scene or something like that. It's pretty cool, all the details on the back of it. What else have we got? This is a nice Australian school thing. Picture's coming out of the frame a little bit, but the frame's beautiful. Nice little Brian Nash oil painting there of a couple of old houses. What else have we got? This is cool. Peter Kennedy. Modern painter. Great thing. I really like it. I like this as well, the David Slattery. Another great modern thing dated 1987. Some good paintings this week, guys. What else have we got? This is nice as well, sort of Australian school about 1900, give or take, once again in a beautiful frame. Another cool little Australian school naive thing there. Of the man taking his horse to water. Really cool. What else have we got? Old 8mm projector in its case. Great little retro radio. Some die cast sort of muscle cars there. Good little lot of records. A little Aboriginal oil painting. Big boxed die cast B25 Mitchell. Some great risque gents mags. Some little Harold Abbott student sort of drawings there. He's a good Sydney painter. Details in the back about Charles Nuttall, his teacher. What else have we got? Some Japanese anime DVDs. Cool little lot of sort of risque gear. Old Playboys and pin-up girl cards and stuff like that in great condition. Great little retro clock. Cool little lot of sort of stills and stuff. Of pin-up girls and gear, original photos. Nice little, again, little oil painting there. Quite a naive one, but in a lovely frame. A couple of pretty cool die-cast helicopters. What else have we got? Heaps of army tanks. A couple of cool cars, some officers' caps. There you go, the 68 Dodge Charger. Great little slot car racer, all adjustable brass chassis underneath. Little battleships and stuff. This is a great World War II painting. It is signed um, Sopadmo and dated 1943, so it looks to be an Indonesian artist. It's a couple of American PT boats attacking a Japanese cruiser. Really cool thing, painted in 1943, wartime picture. Bit naive, very cool. Good little lot of records, Rolling Stones, The Beatles. Comic books, ephemera. Model kit of an F-111 aardvark, unmade. Another good little lot of sort of signed and other fan photos. Big F-29 MiG fulcrum jet. What else have we got? Some nice old women's weekly magazines down the bottom. Here's nice, a Japanese woodblock print of the samurai. It's not a reproduction, it is a woodblock, it's a good thing. Pretty cool as well, the Doctor Strange comic book poster. What else have we got? A mirror and a display cabinet. Yep, you don't see one of them every day. Pretty cool. Great lot of old man magazines, pin-up girl stuff, 1937 onwards. I think it's the earliest one I think I've seen. Some nice ST Gill engravings, nice lot of pottery books. Uh, big die-cast tank, some glass, pretty cool 
uh, advertising sort of corset point of sale card or something like that. Some more cool stuff. Panavia Tornado and a little submarine. Another military tank. Nice bit of Japanese art pottery. Buffalo Bill poster book. The big P-47 Thunderbolt. The jug in the box. He's pretty cool. What else have we got? Star Trek stuff. The AMT model kit hasn't been made up. Motorbike stuff. Cool, a lot of bosun's plaques and gear. Nice big lump of glass. It's a nice book. Donald Bradman book there with a couple of other bits to go with it. Some doors and other sort of um, fan photos again. What else have we got? Nice little lot of glass. A jacket teddy bear in a box. Some more cool stuff in the little cabinet here. Some space die casts and gear like that. Ginger Meg's comics. Oh, there we go. And into the end, couple of cabinets, nice big tobacco pipe here with the porcelain and everything bowl at the bottom. A big um, die cast model of an F-18 Hornet. Pretty cool. The instructions for how to use your and work your flamethrower. Lovely big photograph album with contents. It's a nice the old St. John's ambulance sling. It's a canvas backed poster for warning for air to ground rocket firing and live bombing area in Pierce, Western Australia. Good little lot of pottery. And a little original Memphis cup there. It's got a little bit of damage, but a cool bit. GT4 die cast. Japanese. Beef Eater Gin's cool. Another nice bit of art pottery. There you go. It's a big F-15 Falcon there in the big box. Some nice little pair of West German vases. And into the end cabinet we've got some great stuff. Lovely old glass letterbox there with a little hole at the bottom to drip. Beautiful watercolour of an Indian girl. Um, these are lovely big fold-out sort of um, cross-sections of German aircraft. I think one's a Heinkel and the other one's a JU-88. That's a pretty cool poster there advertising the Bee Gees, Peter's Ice Cream 1970s. 2001 Space Odyssey booklet. Alan Moffat's Trans Am. Beatles Magical Mystery Tour, which is Australian pressing. Good thing. Some interesting photographs. And some little lithographs down there of Adelaide Street scenes about 1880. There's our good old Holden banana, mint boxed. It's a really nice little um, sealing kit to seal up your letters and stuff. Some nice other bits up here, Victorian stuff, Bakelite, Stephen Daly, Peg Warren, Australian pottery vase is nice. Great little lot of motorbike ephemera, TT races and Footscray Road West, Melbourne, etc. What do we got at the top? We've got these really quite unusual scales. Absolutely fantastic. German made. They've got the little sort of cages that open up on the sides to keep the items in, to keep the wind and stuff like that away from it. I think it's very fine. It can be adjusted. Quite an interesting little bit. The tracks GTHO red one and a blue one as well in their boxes. Nice bit of carnival glass. Lovely big bit there of Lucy um, Beck, big Australian pot littered terrain. He's nice, a little, I think it's Hoffman's, isn't it? Yep, Hoffman Australian Pottery Milnes Whiskey Jug. A little Chapara style bronze. That'll do, guys, for this week. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Don't really care too much if you did, or if you didn't, though. No. <laughs>